Even though the audio file is only two seconds long, it was designed to be played in a loop. The composition's initial duration is 30 seconds, so the duration of this audio source is much shorter. If you switch the project panel back to tree mode, you can see that the duration here is 2 seconds. Selecting this audio item in the project panel will display its properties in the properties panel. Here there's an audio after parameter that has several options, and right now it's set to continue. Continue mode maintains the last bit of information from the audio signal, which in this case is silence. You can see this on the waveform of the layer. Switching the reader's audio after parameter to loop sets the file to be played in a loop without any time limit. Let's go back to the beginning and play the animation. This allows the audio element to be extended indefinitely. Audio keyframes work like visibility keyframes, so you can select this keyframe, delete it, and then you don't have to worry about its duration. There is no limit to the number of audio keyframes you can place on an audio layer, so you can enable or disable an audio source, for example to remove some of the beats from the original file. By placing four keyframes while enabling and disabling the audio source, we can remove every other beat. Let's delete the three keyframes we just added to just keep the first one and indefinitely extend the file. In this video, we went over how to extend the original duration of an audio file, play a file in a loop, and add audio keyframes.